Now planning for peace, I find, is one of the most important parts of thinking, feeling, willing. Why? Well, planning for peace really is your space in, in getting your homeschool like really succinct and ready to go. Now, you know, our curriculum, the Wilder Essentials curriculum is pretty open and go, but there is still planning that needs to be done. There is no Waldorf curriculum that is true Waldorf curriculum that is just open and go. There is always going to be evaluation, inner work, and those pieces that you really need to make this a beautiful experience for you at home. So we've taken a lot of the work out of out for you in that we have put together forms in the Planning for Peace journal that will really help you on this journey. So let's back up for a minute. Like where did Planning for Peace come from? How did it come to be? So I've been a Waldorf homeschooling parent for over 20 years. And in that time, I've always had a planning system, like always. I've always had something in, you know, some forms that I made for myself. I'm also, I have to tell you, um, I'm a recovering, or maybe not recovering, um, office supply hoarder, <laughs> marker lover, washi tape lover, planner lover. So I have always found some way to sort of put it on paper so that it worked really well for me. So I did that for years and years, and I found in my coaching that I was answering the same planning questions over and over. How exactly do I do that? How do I go from the concept of the main lesson down to the daily lessons? How do I make what's available in your curriculum truly live in me? And those are questions that I got over and over. And several years ago, we went ahead and we put together the very first Planning for Peace journal. So it was just based on the way I planned for many years, this path. So it came to be from just this need of really having a succinct Waldorf homeschool planner. Now I will say, if you're not a Waldorf homeschooler or if you've got friends that are not Waldorf homeschoolers but they really need a planner, this planner will really work for them too. If they are homeschoolers in general, the planner will work for them. So how does it benefit your homeschooling? One of the um, most important pieces of this journey is to realize that you were called to Waldorf education, probably not just for your children. You might think of, that it was on the outside, but truly Waldorf education will heal you in ways that you never dreamt. There's this great book and you can see mine's all tattered. It's called Rhythms of Learning. I love this book. Um, it's a really great resource if you're really wanting to sort of get an overall look at Waldorf education. It doesn't talk about homeschooling, but there's a piece in here that I really love. It's from the very beginning in the foreword. It says, the self-education of adults is essential for the Waldorf approach to educating children because Waldorf does not consist solely of methods, techniques, or structures, but rather the development of human capacities, those of the children, but also and more importantly, those of the teachers and the parents. So as you're on this journey, you're going to find yourself struggling with some things, fighting back about some things. You're gonna find yourself arguing with me. That's okay. Everybody's been on this path and everybody's had something that stumbles them up. I want you to know that planning for peace will help you immensely in that journey. It will help you to sort of suss out those things that are bugging you and figure out why they're bugging you. They'll also help you immensely if you are somebody who is not great or doesn't think you're great at keeping a rhythm or keeping a menu or getting those, those, um, those lessons planned. If you have failed in the past and this is your last ditch effort to get it right, trust me, if you do the work in planning for peace, you will get it right and you will feel so much better for it. So if you're brand new to Waldorf and you don't even know what I'm talking about, just come along for the ride. But if you've been at this a while and you've had several years in the past where maybe you've started and then stopped or didn't get all the way through your planning, but then got to that part in the school year where you left off and you're thinking, dang it, I should have listened to Melissa and you're kicking yourself. Just know that this is a fresh new space. We can start again all fresh with no mistakes in it. It really just takes your commitment. So if you commit to me and you commit to your children and you commit to this program, I will commit to you. 
The other thing you'll want to do is you want to do the Thinking, Feeling, Willing program. You want to make sure that you're working through the modules. The modules are set up to really help you dive into those pieces of understanding your rhythm and getting it right. And let me tell you a secret, you never get it done. And you never get it totally right. You just keep working at it and you just, it's about evolving, it's not getting there. <laughs> it's not about just getting there. You're gonna find times in your life where you're gonna think, whew, got this rhythm thing down, feels really good, and then something happens. Somebody in your family dies, or you decide you're going to have another baby, or, you know, all kinds of crazy things that can happen. And then you have to reassess your rhythm. That's part of it. That's part of the journey is reassessing all the time. Other parts in thinking, feeling, willing that are going to help you immensely are the parts about inner work. And then, you know, of course, the parts about the curriculum that are really going to help you dive in to understanding the curriculum, not just for where you are right now, but what's ahead. Because truly, when we look at the curriculum and we see it as just this year, just second grade, just you're just looking at second grade, you're not seeing the beauty of how it lays out for the years to come. And truly, the families that stay with Waldorf generally are ones that understand the big picture. So take the time to understand the big picture because this is truly an amazing method of education and we're super excited and we feel incredibly privileged to be able to walk this path with you. If you fall off and um, you you know feel like, oh no, I've fallen too far behind, just get right back on. Reevaluate where you are and the things that you've missed and don't waste time with being overwhelmed. Take a deep breath, look at what you've missed or what you've been behind on and just help come and let us help you make a plan to catch up. It's really not as hard as you're making it in your head, I promise.